Hello, I thought um, we'd take a look at gold. It's been a while since we looked at that. It's a popular one on the weekly live streams. It's near all time highs. It was one of my more profitable markets during November. I'll show you a couple of trades that on that. So I thought, let's take a look at gold. Um, so as usual, when we get into this, we'll have a quick chat about some of the stuff that's been driving the market recently, and then we'll jump onto the charts and I'm gonna do a trade. I know what trade I'm gonna do. I just need to figure out where the stop loss is gonna go, but more about that when we get into it. Um, before we start, if you've watched any of the videos before, you know there's, there's various other things I do. I run a trading course that I've run for um, a few years now. You can find out more about that on the website, both short-term and medium-term approaches to trading with real trades done by me all the time. Um, as part of the trading course, there used to be a WhatsApp group, or there was, there is a WhatsApp group, but it's only available to people who did the course. Um, about four months ago, I opened that up to anybody, so it's probably a 50-50 mix now of those who've done the course and those who haven't. If you'd like to try the WhatsApp group, the way it works is I, I talk about markets I'm watching every day that goes out in the morning, UK time, the trades I've got running, the levels I'm watching, uh, an update with trades that I've done during the day. I typically do maybe one trade a day. I'm not somebody who jumps in and out 20 times a day. Uh, I'm a profitable trader, um, but I don't really care about really, really short-term trading. Trades for me run for perhaps a couple of days to maybe a bit longer if the trend carries on. So all of that is in the WhatsApp group. There's lots of um, questions coming backwards and forwards from people in the group who chip in with any questions they've got, any markets they want looking at, I can look at all of that. So I think there's an awful lot of value in this WhatsApp group, access to me day in, day out. If you'd like to try it out for a month, uh, you can sign up by going to the website, uh, davidjonestrading.co.uk. If you use the code YouTube, you get a 20% discount off the first month. Um, so the links to all of this as usual will be in the description to the vid video, but try it for a month and um, see what you think. Right, let's get into it. I'm a little bit um, under the weather this week, so hopefully not too many coughs and sniffles, but let's talk about some of the things that have been going on in the gold market. So let's just talk about where we are. Six month highs at the end of November for gold. So back above $2,000 an ounce again. And what's helped here? Well, we have seen, if you look at a market like the dollar index, for example, we have seen you know, a slide in the US dollar. Once some of the fears about inflation and further rate rises went away, we've seen the US dollar in decline for a big chunk uh, of this year. And we know if the dollar's sliding, <clears throat> typically that's good for the likes of gold. So that's definitely helped. Geopolitical risk may be playing its part. Of course, we know, uh, you know what's, what's happening in Israel, with Israel at the moment. Um, so that, again, you know, when we see um, perhaps, you know, conflict or uncertainty around the world from a political point of view, you know, that can absolutely have an impact on God. And perhaps the worries about the economy going into next year are still there. You know, we, we seem to be definitely past the worst in inflation. The, the, the big interest rate rises seem to be behind us. Um, but, but perhaps consumers will still be cautious into 2024 because we still have, you know, of course, higher prices than a couple of years ago. Perhaps that's something uh, that could still affect the economy. So perhaps that's helped the price of gold. Then, of course, we've had a good year for stock markets. You know, we look at something like the Nasdaq, for example, in 2023 so far, the Nasdaq is up by more than 40 percent. You know, we've seen stock markets like the S&P. Uh, bounce back, the German DAX, you know, we've seen a, a good year for stock markets. Is there perhaps a feeling, as we get towards the end of this year, 2023, that um, stock markets have gone too far and might be vulnerable into 2024, won't see the same sort of gains? So perhaps that's something else for people thinking, I'll be more defensive and go to gold. So there's, there's a few things there that have helped, I think, fuel this rally in gold. But what's important to me and the idea for the trade is where we are now. Whenever we have seen gold above, what, $2,000 an ounce over the last three and a half years, it has not stayed here very long. The market does not really like gold above $2,000 an ounce. Is this time gonna be any different? Um, I'm not sure, but I know which way my money is going. So what we're gonna do, we'll jump onto here, jump onto the charts. I'll talk about a couple of the trades I did back in November, and we'll set up a trade now to try and profit from what I think might be the next major move in gold. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at um, gold in a bit more detail. I mean, this is a short-term chart. We're gonna look at the, the, the big picture in a second. 
But this has been the last, what is it, two and a half, three weeks or so on gold, going from 19.31 to risen about $100. That's about a 5% move in gold. I traded this a bit on the way up, despite me being perhaps a bit nervous about how high I thought gold wouldn't get. It ended up being a couple of good trades, let me show you, over the last couple of weeks. So I closed one on the 29th of November for just under $500, uh, one the, the 21st of November, uh, no, it's pounds, isn't it? Sorry, four hundred nine, just under five hundred pounds, uh, just under, <clears throat> or three hundred seventeen pounds there. So it's been it's been a good market for me uh, in November gold. Um, I think it was the second biggest winning trades. I had a trade in U.S. Treasury bonds that did better. But I want to start off with the daily view because I think that's that's the most interesting. Let's just, or that's the to to put ourselves in the picture as to where we are and why I'm perhaps a bit nervous up here on gold and, and wondering just how much is there left in the tank. So this is where we are and you can see if we look at this $2,000 mark, if we go all the way back to August 2020, we can see, um, you know, back here, didn't stay above it for very long. If we have a look in March 22, 2022, uh, April to May 2023, and here we are again. So historically, if there's an area where the strength of gold is going to run out of steam, then we are here. So I think it's interesting up here. So from a from a daily point of view, looking at daily charts, I definitely prefer shorts up here, uh, looking to see for it to return perhaps back to $1,900 an ounce. If we zoom in just a little, you know, we are very overbought, not very, but we are overbought on the RSI. We do have this thing going on called bearish divergence, where the price of gold has made a high and has pushed higher still, but the RSI has made a lower high. It's bearish divergence. Doesn't happen very often. When it does happen, it's worth paying attention to. The last time we had this, it took a while to play out, but it was from March through to May 2023, um, where we had the market pushing higher, but the RSI pushing lower. So again, we had that bearish divergence then, and we did see the price of gold slide, you know, for quite a few months after. So I think that's interesting. But to look at the short term for now, I mean, the trend is up since the middle of November. Let's pick up on that. There we go. There's our trend line. So from a short term point of view, I'd still be a buyer of the dip. And that's that's those are the trades I did in the last couple of weeks of November. Um, so you need to decide what your time frame is. If I was trading this in the short term, I'm recording this uh, on Friday, should go out on Saturday, <coughs> a little bit under the weather. Um, I'd be a buyer of the dip, um, but I wonder if over the course of the next couple of weeks, do we see a shift in sentiment again? But but absolutely short term, be a buyer of the dip. Let's see if we can push back up to those, um, those old highs up around 2080, 2070, whatever it was from August 2020. Um, but more medium term is the trade to be short. And that's the trade I'm going to do here. The market's trading at 2035 at the moment, $2,035 an ounce. I know those old highs are in, uh, well, actually, they're these highs here, aren't they? It's these highs from May 2023. So um, let's just pick up on those, see what those actually are. 2081. Let's say I'm going to go short now, and I'm going to put a stop at 2100. So I'm going to have, what's that, $65 stop. Let's, let's say 2110. So I'm going to have a, nearly an $80 stop. But um, I think that there could be quite a lot in this trade on the downside if things do, if it does start to turn around. You know, I suppose if we're going to be really pessimistic looking into next year, it's not too ridiculous to start targeting a run back to the lows that were only from less than two months ago, just ahead of $1,800. So it's interesting up here. I'm going to go short. Let's set the trade up. Right, so I'm ready to go. I've got a couple of open positions. This is the account that I use for the YouTube live streams. If you watch the live streams, you'll be familiar with that, the trades we put on that. It's done okay. It's done pretty well, actually. Um, few open positions. CrowdStrike's done really well. Coca-Cola, NVIDIA. One is underwater at the moment. Goldman Sachs, short Goldman Sachs. Anyway, the trade we're going to do uh, is sell gold. So I'm going to sell three contracts. Uh, stop at 2110, the market's 2035 at the moment, 2035. So it's a 75-point stop. It's a longer-term trade, so I'm quite happy to have a wide stop on it. See how it works out. Um, that's it. Let's place the trade. There we go, the trade's done. So I've sold three at 2035.1. Uh, that stops in place. We'll see how that turns out. 
And like I say, I think it's a really interesting market into the end of the year, into the beginning of 2024. Um, I'm a big fan, as you know, of trading trends and trading reversals off major levels. This is a pretty major level in gold. Is the same thing going to happen again? I don't know. But that's the way my money is going at the moment. Um, we'll do an update. Well, you know, obviously I'll cover it regularly on the live streams. I cover it gold in the WhatsApp group chat during the week. You can sign up and try that out. Um, and I'll do another update um, early in January 2024. We'll see how gold is doing and we'll see whether that trade is still going. Is it in profit? How much profit? Has it been stopped out? Have I been wrong? And we see gold blast out to uh, new highs again. But um, I can't quite see it at the moment. But in the short term, at least, that trend is up. Really interesting market to watch over the next few weeks, next few months into the new year. So that's it. Short gold uh, going into the end of 2023. Let's see how that plays out. Wide stop. You know, if the thing does go out to fresh all-time highs again, then clearly my idea for a short is wrong. Like I said, in the short term, looking at that hourly chart, absolutely, I would still be leaning towards the long side of gold being a buyer of dips. So I, I do think I'm early on that medium term trade. But, um, you know, on these videos, I like to get a trade in. I don't do a video every week on gold. So I thought, well, this is the right opportunity to get a trade in. Let's see how it works out. I update all these markets throughout the week on the WhatsApp group. Um, if you'd like to try it, use the code YouTube for 20% off the first month. You can go to the website, you can see details of the courses that I run, uh, all of that in there. You can get in touch with me direct from the website if you have any questions, always happy to answer any questions. Um, and that's it. So um, short gold, let's see how it goes. I'll do an update in the new year. And of course, we'll always look at these stuff on the live streams and the WhatsApp groups. But um, until the next time, good luck with your trading.